Well, I don't really think there's a better time to start than now, but I'm gonna get back into vlogging. So, uh, I got some stuff coming for the Miata, guys. I literally just sold my other daily today to get more heavy into crypto. But, um, almost every part is here to completely rebuild the Miata. So, I'm super excited. It looks, it looks crazy right now. I mean, regardless, but, uh, it's gonna be a whole new car here shortly. If I don't like it, it's going back silver. Anyways, just got ready for the day. Um, headed out to church after that. Headed up to Tri-Cities, get some work in for the day, but I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day. I think I have one, my, one of my last parts coming in and I just gave a different part that I'm getting fabricated right now to one of my, one of my buddies, so yeah. Starting the process hopefully on Monday. Today it's Sunday, so keep you guys posted. Yo, yo, guys. I just finished up my day. Uh, I had a long day. It was a long day. It was successful, though. I'm so excited to continue the build with you guys. I just got off the phone with one of my buddies, and we got some huge plays moving for the car right now. And I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm going to head out right now, go home. I'm gonna get ready for the night and then we're gonna get started working on the car. I have already done a few things that I haven't shown you guys yet, but I think for this evening we're gonna continue on interior work, but I'm excited to show you guys. I'll show you guys when we get home. Hey yo, what's going on guys? Um, I just made it home. So the first part we're gonna start with is actually gonna be the interior. Um, I got a new wheel. I want you guys to check it out with me, but we're gonna have to make we're gonna have to make some stuff happen. So I have all the tools here needed to make sure that um, everything goes smoothly. So let's open up the new wheel that I got, guys. I'm excited to see it. You guys are gonna like it. I know it's definitely like low rider, but it's gonna look sick in there. It's gonna look so good. I'm excited. I'm excited. So we're gonna do some fabrication. So basically what we gotta do first is we gotta take this faceplate off and then make sure all of these bolt holes line up, right? So we're gonna take this little plate off make sure it lines up correctly and then We'll uh, kind of go from there. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little time lapse, so catch you guys at the end. Well, hey, what's up, guys? It's Scarce. We got it done. We got it done. I guarantee I put it on wrong, but this is what it's looking like. Put the hub on it and everything. This thing's gonna be long. I'm excited, though. It's gonna look so good. Yeah, we, uh, we used it. Oh, it's wrapped up in all the metal shavings. But so when we first, so when I first opened it, I think I showed you guys it only had this one hole, so I had to drill these extra holes. But man, we got it pretty darn straight. I think we got it really straight. But it looks so good. I'm excited. Let's go test it on the car. Well, we got it first try. This is what it's looking like right now. This thing looks sick. I could not be happier with how this turned out. The setup looks crazy. I'm excited. Ooh, man, that looks so good. It's literally a go-kart steering wheel. That is so crazy, but yeah, um, now I'm going to install the other piece back on and then we'll get the full thing going right now. And then I'll show you guys a little, little bit of work that I've done. So I did do the, I did do the, the gauge hood in the cobwebbed look. Looks pretty good. Um, got the fuzzies going on around it. I really like the fuzzy. A lot of people are not for it. I'm for it, but you know, that's my opinion. It doesn't look like it's clipped in all the way. I'll have to clip it back in all the way, but I think it goes extremely well. 
there we go clip that back in that looks a lot better cool yeah even even my turn signals oh man that looks so weird i don't know why it's doing that sorry but yeah they even like blend in there and they're still completely functional everything works on them yeah looks good though i am excited and i know i didn't show you guys but i did this yesterday off a of video um started it last night finished it last night looks really good i'm debating if i do the armrest on it i think it looks extremely good um it matches the the bottom of my gauge hood so i'm just debating if i should do this right now in that same cobweb stuff that i had the other one because that would be black so it wouldn't get dirty as easy um and that's what all of the what all of what the arm is going to be on and then i just like my miata boot holder with it i don't actually know what this piece is called but yeah so let me know what you guys think down in the in the comment section below if i should do this and i'm debating on also doing the tombstone right now and i'll show you guys what that is oh my gosh i just can't get over how it looks dude that looks so fire it looks so good but anyways so oh flash anyways this part right here this is called the tombstone so this part comes off just not sure if i want to do this part yet and then i think i'm gonna get this in the in the same thing i did this and then i'm gonna do the dash like a stitched leather not sure yet but i'm gonna have to finish the interior then too keeping the door card suede or alcantara so i'm gonna do the top of this i think also and that unless i get them carbon because i can also get them carbon but that's pretty much the plans for the interior i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with the carpet yeah i really want to get some like some import uh floor mats or something like the quote-unquote like japanese style ones but other than that um tomorrow probably gonna be doing my sub setup um i have a bunch of sub parts right now i just haven't done it yet but debating if i should do the tombstone right now well i ended up breaking it i literally knew how to take them out the little uh little circle parts but anyways i broke the little back piece off i'll show you that right now but that little silver plating right there i broke and i just super glued them all back on um this is not the correct spot to put super glue but frick it this thing will never come off ever again anyways so gonna wait for that to dry and then i think i'm gonna do the tombstone as well but yeah, I'm excited. So I think we're gonna take it for a little food run ski, a little friend ski. I'm gonna go get some uh, food. I am dummy hungry while that dries. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go test drive it. Let's see how it drives. All right, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to prop you guys up. See you guys in there. Well, she's driving good. Um, I'm just going down my road right now, but. drives good i'm excited i'm hyped for what it is um took the tombstone off i think i'm gonna do the tombstone same thing as i did the little armrest segment right here i know it's a mess in here but yeah i am excited with how this thing came out like it's super small so that's a little bit different but i mean i think it looks good honestly but i will see you guys at mcdongles I'll try to get someone's reaction or something, see if we can get a reaction out of somebody. So we're pulling into the McDonald's drive through to get this order cooking. Hold on, boys, I'm gonna turn off the flash real quick. Hi, how's it going? Good job, Doing good. Uh, can I get a cheeseburger, extra pickles? Okay. And then a McChicken, light lettuce. And then add tomato. And then a... Uh, a honey mustard and a large sweet tea and that'll be all. Unfortunately, we have sweet tea at the moment. Okay, uh, Coke is fine. What size? Uh, medium. Medium? 
Yeah. Okay. Is that job for you tonight? Yeah, that'll be all. Okay, so it'll be 77 in the middle of it. Thank all right, cool. Thank you. Wind smooth. Let's see if I can prop you guys up somewhere. There's another guy in front of me. Give me just two seconds, guys. McDonald's has been acquired. I'm getting ready to dip out right now. Hopefully no oppas coming to stop me. I'm on the way. I have no good way to prop you guys up, but everything is going good. Everything feels good. It looks good. Yeah, the tombstone's gone right now. That's getting done with uh, this right. Well, hopefully after after I eat right now, then I'm gonna start on this. But I need the upper part where it screws on to dry first. So, but yeah, I will catch you guys uh, when I'm done eating and we're starting the tombstone. Yo, what's going on, guys? Um. I got the template all cut out for the tombstone and I'm gonna glue it on there right now and then get to cutting and make sure everything fits right. Um, I'm gonna try to post you guys up outside, get a little video of me spraying it and then go inside, do a time lapse of uh, getting the tombstone done. See you guys once done. She's all done. Um, probably not gonna install them till tomorrow because it's currently like, I don't know, it's like midnight or something right now. But I'm extremely happy with how it came out. It looks really, really good. So this is basically gonna sit right up against this. Just like so, it looks something like that. Yeah, looks good. Looks really good, I like it. I hope it looks better in the camera, but whew, I think we've had plenty for today's. Um, I have a couple more things to finish on the interior, not too much more. And then we're going to be moving to the outside of the build. But I'm going to end this one here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you stay tuned for part two. Um, I'm going to continue to do parts for building the car. I appreciate all of you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Make sure you stay up to date. Each part will be a different part of the build. We'll catch you guys on the next one.